just for the people that perfect that can't be on okay so the first thing i wrote down was what link do you send people i'm sure anyone that's watching this there's a lot of new people um if you are here and you're new and you're like watching the replay and you don't know what link to send to people i'm going to show you i have it pulled up um I have everything pulled up here. Okay, so I am logged in. Let me share my screen really quick just to show everybody where you find your replicated website, even though you're sharing your screen. Great. It is in the guide section in Gummy Gang. But if you have the attention span like I do, which is like super, you know, ADD and you can only read things for like five minutes at a time, maybe you haven't gotten that far yet. I understand that. So you're gonna go into your back office. Um, if you don't know how to get to your back office, it's this up here, but I think everybody here does. Hopefully if you're new, you'll figure that out. My profile is where you're gonna go to find out what your um, website is. Then you're gonna go to edit my profile. Okay, so right here, this replicated website. So it's going to be ariel.com slash mine is Darnell Brunt. Um, right here, you can actually change. I'm, it's you can put something different um, on your website. So I have a second account for my husband, and instead of uh, I, I put all of my TikTok sales like through his account. Um, and instead of it saying Greg Brunt on the website when people click it, I in this replicated site text box right here, I typed my TikTok name. So people knew that they were shopping with me. So it says hemp health hippie when you go to my page from like TikTok, because that's the link that I give out. Just so you know, whatever you type here will show at the top of your website. Um, if you don't type anything there, it will show your name at the top of the website. Okay, so that's first and foremost. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to my ariel.com slash Darnell Brunt. Okay. So it is going to take us to this website. And while this website is beautiful and gorgeous and people click on it, it's like, yay. If you send this in a messenger link to somebody and then they decide and they click it and then they like hit open browser, you see where it says my name here in this top corner that goes away. If they go from the messenger pop up to the browser, for some reason that goes away and they then are shopping under corporate and not you. And I have, I think I've, I've found this out the hard way. We can reclaim any customers that you may lose if that does happen. But what I do instead is I send them this web. I send them this link. Before I made a domain on um, GoDaddy for the last year, I mean, I made a domain like a couple weeks ago. So for the last year, I've been doing this. This link, you click shop, and then I send them this link right here, shop.ariel.com. And then this right here is my rock star number right there at the top. That's my rock star number. So if you send somebody that in their messenger and they click like open in Safari, it's going to take, it's still going to be you because it has your rock star number attached to it. You can't see me pointing. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, but it still has your rock star number attached. So this is the safest thing to send people. So they don't end up at corporate. So they a hundred percent are on your website. Okay. Um, another part of this, that if you're talking to somebody strictly about, let's say this coffee scrub, Okay, you were strictly talking to them about this coffee scrub. It's so good, girl. It makes my skin feel like, you know, like a baby's butt. You gotta fucking try it, blah, 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 whatever. I click on this actual page, okay? And you click into it. And then up here, this link, it says body 1120. This is the code for this coffee scrub. Okay. And then it also has your rock star number attached to it. So you can send them this direct link. When you send somebody that in their messenger, even if they open it into a browser, it's still going to go to you. And then they're not confused. Okay. They're not confused. And they're not like, sometimes the website can be overwhelming. So if they're just trying to buy one thing, you tell them, add this to your cart at checkout. Okay. So we're going to 
add this to our cart. And then we're going to go to the bag. I'm going to like walk you guys through this. It says $70, but if all they have to do is click this, yes, I want to enroll now and save, and they become a VIP customer for free. What does that mean? It means that you get my discount, you're loyal to my shop, and you get the perks of buy three, get one free. And if you have set up an auto ship and it runs for three months, you will get free shipping after that. So those are the perks of the VIP club. It says it all on the website as well. So you don't have to like memorize this. You can literally, it's, it says everything here when you check out. So they'll check that. If they want to join your team, they'll become a rock star for $25 more. What does that get them? The website for a year and it gets them like the rock star box with their first order. Okay. So you could click that as well. It would do the same thing. So you hit submit, the price changes. It's that simple. And then they go through the checkout process. Um, so it's, that is like my tips for success as far as sending your customers direct links. Now, if you have somebody that um, is wanting greens, unicorn drops, GTFO, and like the coffee scrub, you can send them four different direct links and be like, add each one to your cart because it's going to keep the original one in the cart because it remembers. So you can do that as well. We're hoping down the road, you'll be able to send a loaded cart to people and you'll be like, here, I added all four things to the cart. All you have to do is click, check, like, I guess I want to be a VIP and check out. So that will be, that would be phenomenal. So doing those two things already, you're setting yourself up to maybe hopefully close the deal a little bit more. My other tip for success is place the order for your customers and have them Venmo you. So Venmo has the option to get like um, a debit card that's attached to your account and it has a credit card number on it. So I highly recommend getting one of those. They're totally free. If you already have a Venmo account, get it. Because this way, when you have like some chick at work and she's like, girl, what are those drops you were taking? I need them, like whatever. You can message her after hours and be like, hey, I'm sitting, I'm placing an order. Venmo me $70. I'm going to have it shipped directly to your house. Send me your address and your email. And you sign that girl up. And when she sends you the money or, you know, you have her send you the exact shipping and tax. So it probably comes to like 72 bucks, something like that. I don't know. You can go through the process and find out the total and be like, this is the total mm -hmm. Venmo me this. And I'll place the order for you. As soon as you get that like notification, but bing, you have money. You take that card number from your Venmo account and you put it in. It doesn't come out of your bank account. You're not fronting anybody money, but this is a surefire way to seal the deal. You want to close deals, put the order in yourself. If they're comfortable giving you their credit card information, even better, even better. But some people are not comfortable doing that, especially this day and age. And I get that. So this was like my workaround for that. Okay. The next thing is come up with your core four products. If you haven't already done that, your core four, why do we call it core four? Because everything is buy three, get one free. Buy three, get one free. I can stop sharing my screen now. You can look at me again. So everything is buy three, get one free. We always are going to encourage that. And if you have four like staple products that you talk about constantly, the chances of them buying that four is greater than them not. So right now I'm doing a detox bundle that has five items in it. I'm like, you get one of the items free. You know, you're getting five items for $285. It's over $150 savings. And they like, they love that. They love that. I've got like a lot of people that are like very, that are probably like going to buy it soon. And because they get the item free. And then the lion's pride this month, you know, you can always like jazz up the deal a little bit. We also have the scratch offs the rest of this month too. Um, but I would talk about these four products incessantly um, for 90 days. I've been paying for their orders and waiting for my transfer from Venmo. I need more info on this. Boo boo. Yes. You can like, it's, you can do it from the app. I got it. It's a little pink debit card that says Venmo on it. It has the chip in it, like everything. You can use it anywhere too. So if people Venmo you, you can use it like at the grocery store. It's like a, it's a real debit card. It's just like, it's like our LuLaRoe, like Visa debit cards. It's the exact same thing or the MasterCard, whatever the hell they are now. It's like the exact same thing. Um, so I highly recommend doing that because then the money is just right there. You don't have to like front it. Like I was kind of fronting shit in the beginning too. And I was just like waiting for them to send me money back. I don't like to play that game. I don't like to play that game. I just, I just don't. So I decided that that was my, that was my workaround for that. Okay. Um, 
But yeah, those core four products, you want to talk about them for 90 days. Okay. You got to keep talking about them. If not longer, I've been talking about greens for a year. All of it's starting to pop up in my one year. Like I knew story a year ago today. It's all like I was doing, um, the triple threat and the glow getter gummies. And I was just all in, you know, I had just started. I was just pushing, 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 pushing. Um, so the more you do it and the longer you do it, people are gonna be like, okay, she's been doing this a hot minute now. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna follow her because here's the type of, here's what happens. You have certain customers. You got these diehards that are like, hell yeah, you look awesome. Let's do this. I don't even care what's in it. Sign me up. I'm all in. Okay. And they're the ones you don't have to convince. They're your like loyal people. They already trust you. And if you're telling them you're having these results, they're in. Great. You're going to have a bunch of those. Then you're going to have the people that are going to want to be a little bit more convinced, kind of hear a little science behind it, um, which is great. Those people are amazing too. They help you learn. And then you're going to have these people that are going to watch you for like 20 times, just like Michelle said, like 20 times before they buy. I've had people watching me now for a year. And literally this one girl just said to me the other day, she's like, I've been watching you for a really, really long time. And I just really resonate with you. And I feel like it's time for me to try these products. I'm like, just try. What can it hurt? What can it hurt that you're out like, you know, $65 on a, on a set of unicorn drops. You use the whole jar and you feel nothing. I doubt that's going to happen. I doubt that's going to happen, but let's either way. We have a happiness guarantee. We have a 60 day happiness guarantee. So always tell people that if you didn't know that we do, there's a restocking fee, but they will also replace the item for something else because Ariel wants you to be happy with the product that you bought. So if you bought unicorn drops and you are not happy with them and you want to switch them to slay all day, they will 100% do that for you. And I can always tell you how to go about that. All the things. Okay. Not my next tip for success is the Sunday plan. Okay. I am running the blitz calls on Sundays and Mondays. Sundays, we are week planning. It may even be a longer blitz. I may have it be like a 45 minute blitz because we need to week plan at least like getting some posts for the week, figuring out an engagement post, something short, sweet that you think people are going to comment on a ton, you know, like let's plan like on Monday, it's about manifesting. Everything is about around manifesting. Um, you know, everything is around like. Your post is around manifesting. The reel maybe that you're going to make is around manifesting. And on Sunday, take the time to make the content. Take the time to make the content. You're not going to have time during the week. Your kids are home. The kids are everywhere. Like your life is upside down. You're not going to have the time. On Sunday, look at your spouse, look at your partner, look at your parents, say, I need an hour, two hours to myself to plan my week, please. You have to give yourself. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. I'm totally down for it. I'll do, I'll, but like the Sunday planning is something that I don't do a lot of either. And I, since I'm running the blitz, it's going to force me to do it. So I highly encourage this whole team to get on with me on Sunday mornings. If you are somebody that goes to church, I completely understand that. Maybe I'll record the Sunday blitzes so we can kind of like do them. You can do them at your leisure just because it is, you know, a family day for some people, but I haven't decided that either. Okay. Next thing, when we, we do these blitzes for a reason that, I mean, being uh, one of my tips for success is getting on these blitzes every day. I swear they keep me accountable. They make me at least put stuff in my story. They make me interact with other people. They make me show up. They make me turn on the open sign. When I don't get on the blitz call, i.e. today, I took Carter to get his cast off at the same time as the blitz. So he didn't get on the blitz. And you know how much I showed up for my business today? Zero. I mean, I've been talking to people in messenger all day, but I haven't posted on social media. I haven't posted in my story. I've done nothing. I've done nothing. So this is a perfect example of why the blitz calls put us in check and really get us to just do the few things. If you can get on the call for 25 minutes and post in your story and post on your timeline because you already have the content from sat from Sunday, you're already on fire. You're already on fire for that day. And then you have just like such great energy to keep going with throughout your day. Okay. So the blitz calls are super, super, super important. They really, really are. I know they seem silly and I know people think like I can do it myself. You don't though. You don't. You don't until you train yourself. You have to train your brain. It's like, it's crazy. I get up, I 
go to yoga Monday through Friday because it's right next to where my kids go to camp. So I am trained to go there. And when I get done with yoga, I get on the blitz calls. And then after that, I take a shower. Like that is my routine. And then I work in the afternoon. You just have to stick to like your routines and be consistent with when working this business works for you. You do it when it works for you. I'm not telling you that my routine is your routine. You make your routine your routine, but stick to it. Okay. Um, oh, so when you are scrolling social media, like at night, if you're doing on reels and stuff, stop yourself and set a timer, set a timer for 10 minutes. And when that timer goes off, you're like, I'm done. I'm, I'm off. I'm not watching this social media stuff anymore. I'm done, 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 done. Set the timers and do it for three different platforms. Be like, I need to engage on Facebook for 10 minutes, set a timer and engage on Facebook for 10 minutes. I need to do it on Instagram, set the timer, set the timer on TikTok, all the things. Just set the timer um, because then you won't get lost. I know every single one of us gets lost in the scroll. It is, it's what happens. And then all of a sudden it's been an hour and a half and you're like, what have I been doing? Oh, you've been on TikTok for an hour and a half or an hour, that's what you've been doing. There's a timer, there's a setting on TikTok that alerts me now and it says, hey, you've been scrolling for 20 minutes. It's time to get off. And I'm like, yes, TikTok, I love you for that. It's such a, such a great feature and it makes me turn it off. Um, okay. My next tip for success that I wrote down is that your post should involve your face or something eye-catching. If you are not posting pictures of you using products, like if you're out with the kids and it's like a crazy, you have like such a crazy day going on, you can just literally be like taking a picture of you and the kids and you don't even have to have a product and just be like so thankful that I took my pain pill this morning because the kids are driving me nuts today. I swear if I wasn't taking this every single day, I'd be screaming right by right now. If you're like a mom like me that's screaming when her kids like don't stop, hit me up. Let's chat. You need to try this. Simple. But when you post a picture that's a stock photo that says vibe high and chill, people are like, what the fuck is vibe high and chill? And they scroll on by and half the time Facebook doesn't show it to anybody because they know it's a stock photo. So please, for the love of God, if you're going to take the time to post on social media, either make it an engagement post where you type out the block lettering like yourself, or please, for the love of God, make it your face, make it your face, please, please, please self timer at your friend and clean your lens. Yes. Clean your lens. Exactly. Hit the timer on your phone. Do that all the time. Literally, the timer is my best friend. I'm going to show you this other trick. If you have an iPhone, and I'm sure it works some, somehow on Galaxies, I'm sure it works, okay? Look, iPhone right here. If you hit up here at the top, it's going to bring up your timer, okay? You can click this, and you can do three or 10 seconds, and you can put it on a tripod, and you can come on the other side, or you can flip the screen, and you can do it this way, okay? Here, also, this little, like, three circles down here in the corner, if you click that, and click the one next to it, it's vivid. So it change, It just makes the picture so much brighter. I always, always, always pick vivid. Um, look, see, there's the chair, not vivid. Like, look at that, huge. Just a little bit of a subtle difference that makes things pop. And if you, that's all you have to do, just you know, make it pop a little bit more, just a little bit more, like by doing those simple things. Um, Jen did an entire training in Gummy Gang. I have no problem sharing the link in the group. I'll do that after we get off about how to take good pictures. She is so good at taking pictures. So please, if you haven't had the time to watch that, watch it. It's amazing. Okay, next tip for success is getting on these calls, being plugged in, being plugged in. Get on the Monday night gummy gang calls. They're important. If you don't get on the nine o'clock corporate calls, those are always reported. I usually don't get on the nine o'clock call. I usually watch it the next morning. Like when I drop my kids off at camp, I usually have a half hour and I watch that call um, before yoga starts just because I like to go to bed early. I do. Like as soon as I get off this call, I'm going to bed. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to do the, the flow call, but then I'm getting off. And that's my other thing. Let's talk about the flow call. It is in... Uh, at nine o'clock. So I bet every single one of you here attended a flow call before you joined this company. I know all of you did because half of you are mine. And I know you were on those calls. Third party validation is huge. People can hear it from us all day long, but they just could think I'm blowing smoke up their assholes. Okay. They really could. But when they hear it, 
Uh, my lens is always dirty. You're talking to me. I love you, boo. I <laughs> didn't know it was always dirty, but I love you. Clean that lens, boo boo. Um, but third party validation is huge, especially when it's the weeks that like Travis and Kristen get on. They speak life into people and they want to join when they see them. Tonight, it's Nicole J.A. and this other top leader that just switched from another company. So I do think tonight, tonight's call is going to be that chance to maybe if you have people that are at other companies that have been like hemming and hawing about coming here, you're definitely going to want to send this to them. Maybe don't tag them in it. Share it, copy the link and send it directly into their messenger and be like, hey, like this is our weekly like corporate call. It's a great chance for you to learn some more information about what I do and the products that we sell. Um, and how you can like, and how you can join us. I think you would do great here at Ariel and I would love to have you join my team. Something like that. That's honestly what I send to almost everybody that I send it to. Now, here's the reason I'm gonna tell you not to just tag people in it directly on Facebook. If you know they're with another company, it pops up on their page and they get pissed. Cause if they're not ready to be like, hey, I'm not ready to leave like Thrive or wherever the hell they're all at and you're tagging them and stuff and people in their company are seeing that, they're getting called out. So just be careful with who you're tagging in the videos, okay? Maybe just send it in their messenger. That's a little like tip for success that I've seen other people kind of go through that. Um, but it's important to plug into these flow calls. And when we do the gummy gang one, I think it's important to plug into that. And I was telling Jennifer the other day that I think it's important that we as a team do one as well, because I think it's important for your people to see your faces. I do. I think it's super important. I think that you guys all saw an opportunity call, like maybe with my face on it at some point or another. And you were like, damn, yeah, I resonate with her. Like I, I feel her. I want to do this. I want to do this, you know, like, and I think your people would be like, wow, look at Kristen. She's only been with this company for like a month that she's already like hosting these calls. Like, holy shit. You know, like, so I do think that there is a lot of power in owning like what we do and, and doing it together. So I, I would like to do that once a month. We have a gummy gang call once a month. We have our corporate ones every Thursday at 9 PM. And then I'm hoping that maybe we could do like an end of month one, just so we can close seal deals. You know, the end of month is when people spend more money. I find more people spend, you want to do an opportunity call? Yes, Michelle, I love that. Love that, love that, love that. I really think that we should plan one for like the last week of June. So maybe like a Wednesday night, last week of June, something like that. Because when our people can see our faces on it, they're like, oh damn, she's somebody. She's made it. Even if we haven't made it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The ma the, what matters is that you are somebody here. And that's what matters, you know? Like you are somebody here. You are a face here. We want everybody to be a face here. Um, so I do think that there's power in that. And we're going to start doing those as a team as well. Audit your profile. That's another one of my tips. And I feel like, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, audit your profile. What do I mean by that? If you go to your Facebook profile, would anybody know that you sell Ariel? Do they know? Cause I can tell you that for a very long time, and this is not to bash Lou LaRoe. I know that there's a lot of us that are still with them. Um, we were running out of time. I got 10 minutes left. I'm going to stop talking anyways, because then we have five minutes to get on the corporate call. I'm not bad, mouth bad mouthing them in any way, shape or form. But in Lou LaRoe, we had like private VIP groups. And I found that for five years, I really only posted in this private VIP group. And I was talking to Jennifer about this today. And I didn't really share what I did or what I was doing on my personal page. And I don't know why I did that for so many years. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I, I, I had just trained, trained myself into doing that, but nobody really knew that I sold clothes for a living. Um, yeah, and neglected my personal page for so long, for so long, and nobody knew what I did for a living. So when I was like, I stopped growing with LuLaRoe, I'm like, why am I not growing? Bitch, you weren't sharing. You're sharing with the same pond over and over again. You're swimming in the same little area. That's why. Like, duh. I put everything on my personal page at this point. We were always told to work in our VAP groups. 100%. 100%. And again, this is not me bad-mouthing that. I'm just saying this was like a way that we were taught. And it's not the right way. We have to share this. Like, this is, we have to share this story. We want to explode. Like, even Michelle, like, Holly, you're all still with them. Like, Post a picture of you, like with outfits behind you, like do this, 
and put like that pink pill in your mouth and be like, this is the only thing that's going to get me through 50 outfits today. Y'all want to see like the, the bomb ass outfits I'm making, or you need some pink pill for focus. Let's do this. Like, I wish I would have done things differently. Like, I wish I would have done things a little bit differently in that sense. So if you are still working both businesses, I highly encourage you to start doing things a little bit more like that because you just never know how it's going to overall change everything for you, you know? Um, and the other thing is, is share your story. Ariel, I'm going to my personal page. Maybe now my area. Yes, yes, yes. You have to, and you have to share your story. You have to share your story. I know going live is scary. So if you need somebody to go live with you, I will go live with you. Amanda will go live with you. Jenny will go live with you. Like there's so many of us that go live and we're comfortable. We'll go live together. You know, I will share my story with anybody. Okay. And I will ask you questions that will not force you, but will coax you into sharing your story a little bit more and be more comfortable because we're having a back and forth conversation. It's not scary when you're talking to your friend. It's not scary when we're just having a back and forth, you know? So if you're not sharing your story and you're not going live and you're not posting in your stories at the top, you're doing yourself a disservice. You have to share. If you're not willing to share how the products make you feel, nobody's going to know. You have to. Because like we said, like you have people to see things 20 times before they want to buy it. 20, 20, 20 times before they want to buy it. So if I'm not sharing every single day and I'm not constantly talking about this shit and I'm not constantly like bringing it into my life, how will they ever know? How will they ever know? They won't. They won't know. And you know, that's, that's it. So those are my tips. Oh, and the other thing is be a know-it-all. If you don't know something, Captain Google is like my best friend. Gummy gang, glance at gummy gang, search things at the top. If somebody comes to you and says, Hey, I have like Crohn's disease and I have this and I have that, what would you think would be good? Go to glance at a gummy gang and type Crohn's disease and search the posts and see people who have said like, I have Crohn's disease and this is what I'm taking that's working for me. And maybe be like, hey, and then tag them in these posts. Gummy, the glance at a gummy gang is a huge tool. It is a huge, huge, huge tool that um, is just really, if you're not utilizing it, you should be or you should create your own group to funnel people into one or the other. I am not, I'm too squirrely to run my own group at this point. I know that. So I'm utilizing the other group until I can really get my shit together and get my own group going. But I have one of our, op I always have our gummy gang opportunity called pinned to the top of my page. So when I find somebody on TikTok that wants to like learn more, I ask them if they're on Facebook, I tell them to friend me. Okay. I've gotten over 200 new friends from TikTok in the last month that have friended me. And I tagged them in that video, the gummy gang opportunity that's pinned on my page. So I tagged them there and I say, Hey, this is a quick video about what I'm doing. Let me know like what heart this. So I know you saw it. And then they heart that I add them to glance. And then I send them a message. Hey, I just added you to this group. And I send them the link. Let me know when you've accepted the invite and I'll tag you in our products and our joining options. And then once I see that they've been invited or, the, or they've accepted the invite, I tag them in the product post, the product breakdown, and I tag them in the joining options. And then I send them a link to both of those. And I have all of these steps. Um, is there's a search bar at the top? Yep. So you go to the top of the group, go into the group, and there's a search bar at the top. And you can type anything into it. And I have all, but I was going to say, I have all of this saved in my notepad. I have this whole funnel saved in my notepad about what I say to every single person. I say the same thing. I make it, I make it very duplicatable because sometimes I have a TikTok that'll take off and I have 150 people that want to talk to me and they're like, oh, you sell cannabis from your couch? Cool. I want to do that too. And not all of them are going to join. You know, it's a numbers game, right? It's a numbers game. You get one out of every 10. I've got like two and a half minutes left. Um, but they're watching. That's the important part is that they get on Facebook and they're watching you because then you're still posting. You open up shop every single day there, they're watching. They see you. They see you showing up on TikTok. Okay. Anybody have any questions? I'm done talking. We've got like two minutes left. Um, if you have any questions, unmute. Anything to say, unmute. Um, we have our corporate call in eight minutes. Found it. Yay. Can you pin a video to your personal profile? Yes, you can. And I have mine pinned to the top. So I pin the opportunity call 
every time. And I'm not going to lie to you. I try to be on the opportunity calls for gummy gang because people are like, Oh, this bitch is on the call. Look at her. She's on these calls. She's on these calls. Not that it's like super impressive, but I get on there and I, 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 I spit my shit. You guys have heard me, you know? <clears throat> so I love you all. I will have this uploaded to YouTube as soon as I can. I'm going to upload it to mine. I don't know how to upload it to Amanda's, but I'm going to upload it to mine and I will share it so you can share it with any teenies that maybe missed this. Um, just because if they're new, um, I'm rocking the baby. Mm. I love you all. But if anybody's new, you can share it with teenies. Um, I think that was a lot of good tips. But I love you all. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you'll all get on the flow call and you know, send it to some people and all the things. Have a great night, my loves. I will talk to you all 